the Camping World Maui Invitational. What a time to be alive. And normally this time of year, we would be on the sunny beaches of the islands, Maui. Temperatures in the mid-70s. So Garrison Brooks looking forward to having a big season in Carolina Blue. The Harris Cherokee Center in Asheville, and we are underway, ready to go. Ball. They want to make sure it's the guards that beat them, not the big guys. Inside out, Bryce Hamilton. Three. He says, "You know when you're getting when you're getting close to home. When you start seeing the mountains, about 30 miles out, he sees those mountains. He and right now, early in the game, just like in the game against early in the week for North Carolina, they struggled to shoot. They nothing running rebels." Brooks off the mark after the triple by David Jenkins. Here's an open path and a basket and a chance for three. Bryce. What is it that Roy Williams means to that city? It, 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 it's, it's that. Uh, they're not from uh, Asheville. They're, they're, they're not from Asheville. <laughs> they're transplants, okay. <laughs> they're transplants, most of them. But, uh, but he, uh, he just makes you feel like you're part of it. I mean, you're part of the family. I mean, it's all about family. Y'all eat stuff forever, and it's still. We've seen San Francisco upset Virginia. There's Playtech in and out. The rebound and the putback by Baycott. Tar Heels missed their first eight shots tonight. They're three for five cents. Starting to warm up. Here's Playtech from the corner. Count it. One of their best performances in over a decade is Brooks carousing. And an open look for R.J. Davis. Count is seven. Get right back in it. Hamilton looking for another spin. And in trap. And that time, Love lost the handle. Here come the running Rebels. And Mbake Jog with the finish. There was a lot of Bill Walton in our Sunday of Zoom. <laughs> and we enjoyed it. I learned a thing or two as Caleb Grill connect. My young fella out of Dallas at Oklahoma State. Oh, Love was the rack approaching four to play in our first half. UNLV bolted out to a double-digit lead. Tar Heels trying to bounce back. And this quarantine, and there, there are mixed reactions. There are a lot of people threatening me. If I don't cut this off, there's going to be harm done to me soon. Harrison Barnes and Reggie Bullock were all in the same class. Wow. It's hard to determine that this class is better than that. The rest is history. Carolina comes roaring back, and a chance for another bucket. Brooks. And that'll do it. That's Baycott the board. Well, Roy, a.k.a. Wah, let me tell you your first mistake. <laughs> Going on a Carolina. He's along with it, and I think he's been quite comfortable making the adjustment, even in 2020 with everything we're dealing with. with Coast. Carolina in transition, so dangerous. There's Davis. Watching games earlier today, I see Bill Walton with Camping World tents in his backyard. <laughs> you just get cranked up in 1973. Come on now. So last year was Roy's first ever losing season as a college coach. Rosario, Argentina, and Roy and I got to spend three weeks together. I had the opportunity to see that firsthand from Roy Williams. And it's no surprise the success he's had creating the Carolina basketball family. For taking. about Kessler. Offense for North Carolina is just to get a shot up on the glass because one thing that you know about the Tar Heels, they're notoriously great at home. And so I've been asking a lot of these coaches what it is they've been doing with their spare time. That, they that was back in 2011. And North Carolina was ranked number one in the country. At that time. Moses Wood claimed the rebound. UNLV back to work approaching four minutes. Game has been dominated by number four. Three and a half to go. And a three by three of four from downtown too, Corey. It really is. RJ Davis was listed in a number of publications as the top shooting freshman from deep. And he has done a great job in that Carolina backcourt position. There's a couple. Oh, Roy Wayne Ellington. <laughs> Wayne Ellington, of course. <laughs> What am I doing? 78-51, the final score.